Oh, I probably just heard what I'm about to show you. Hey guys, you are watching Mickey's Equestrian Channel and today we're going to go through what is in my horse's first aid kit. So let's start. So my first aid horse box lives in my tuck lane. Um, this is just where everybody in my family um, knows where to go if I'm not home. Um, yeah, this is just what I keep in my first aid box for the horses. Um, obviously, um, there's a whole bunch of different things you can pop into it and that I've got a couple of stuff on the top that I have to put in um, as well uh, but this is just what I've got in mind um, so other people are different but this is what I found I have needed um, so yeah okay so first up um, I have my box so I've used a heavy duty um, well I feel like it's heavy duty um, box this is actually just from Bunnings not sponsored or sponsored by this company I just find that it was quite a big size box that would fit a lot of stuff in there obviously I swear doesn't matter how big your box is you always need more space um, I've also got ice boots um, these are just a really long pair I haven't yet you um, needed to use them you have a shorter pair as well for the front that are actually in a freezer at the moment um, in case I do have to use them so let's open up this tackle on um, this tackle box no this first aid box and go from there just before we um, get into the um, what's in my medical first aid box for the horses um, you will see some prescription stuff so um, that's just what my vet has given them. Um, obviously, check with your vet before using any prescription stuff. You, obviously, prescription you have to get from a vet. I'm not going through any prescription drugs that I've got in here. Um, if your horse does need medical attention or you need medical advice, ask your vet don't go off any of what I've got in my thing. Um, this is just what I keep and there will be probably multiple stuff I go in there. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going through any prescription. I'm not telling you what to use for the um your horses because you should be speaking to a vet okay so this is just my press some of my prescription meds that i've got so i'm just going to take that out um but yeah that's where i keep some of my prescription meds okay so next thing i've got is a doggy bag um haven't used it but it's just got a doggy bag um just rubbish bags small rubbish bags if i ever need to use rubbish bags um i've just got some um hand solution that was given to me um sterile hand solution um so yeah that was given to me so i've just kept that in there if i ever have to wash my hands um, a bunch of bandage stuff um coflex um, bet rab um and that that I have used for um, bandaging Strawberry's leg when she cut herself. Um, I've got actually, let's see if I can use this. Oh, there we go. Um, just a tape measure about um, how high your horse hands is. Um, that's not really medical, but I just keep it in there. I've got a bunch of um, stuff, um, scissors, more bandage scissors, um, tweezers. Um, in there, that's just where I keep all my stuff that I might need. Um, I've got some swabs um, and I've got some honey, uh, but I always speak to you, always speak to your vet before um, using anything. I just get medical honey in there. Um, so, yeah, let's open to the next layer. Um, before continuing it, I would just like to mention also that I do actually work for a vet clinic. Um, I'm not a vet, um, so um, if you have any questions, don't ask me. You should be asking your vet. I'm not com commenting on any questions about injuries and that because that's a question for vets um, and I'm not a vet. So, um, yes, that's why you might see some stuff that I've got in here that might not be common for other people. Um, that's just what I have got or um, I bought for my job and um, so yeah I was lucky enough of being actually gifted a stethoscope not sponsored I was just actually won a rally um a not a rally ticket draw thing um so I got actually oh, my stethoscope's not even there so it is inside so but yeah that's where my stethoscope normally stays uh, I've got a bench a bunch of 
bandage stuff in there. Like the strawberry cutter legs, so many bandage stuff, you can never go wrong with that. Um, got a bit more stuff. I've got just wooden, really, I don't know. I don't know, this stuff's not really, it's over the counter stuff um, that I've just got. Um, I more use it for like not really important wounds, but yeah, obviously chat to your vet um, about that. I don't actually find any more, it's very effective, so um, I've just got it in there. Um, and then I've obviously got, I have to pop in some creams that I use that is a prescription drug so I'm not talking about that one this one is just an over-counter drug um over-counter it's like sunscreen and antibacterial cream that's over-counter um and then I've got uh, more um more lastoplast more vet wrap so this is just yeah cotton wool I'm just going to quickly wrap it up so the flies don't get it um that I use for leg bandages also got um, sterile medi pad, um, sterile medi strip pad um, that I used when um, strawberry cut a leg, cut it to size of the wound, um, pop my cream prescription cream that I got from the vet on, and then I wrap the leg up. So I keep that a spare one in there. Um, I've just got my stethoscope back. I know, uh, I'm pretty sure anybody can buy, um, it's a bit dusty, um, I'm pretty sure anybody can buy a stethoscope, um, I suppose it's always good just to have one in hand if you have to count your horse's heart rate, um, or any animal's heart rate. I know endurance riders, I think, um, they would, endurance riders have stethoscopes as well, because when they're doing over a long distance, they have to count, they have to make sure their horse's heart rate goes down to a certain, before they continue, um, I'm not an endurance rider, but I have just been told that. So my stethoscope will go back in there. Then I've just got other couple stuff that I had been meaning to put in there. Um, I've got this, just more scissors. Um, pretty, just, I like the pretty colour. Um, more scissors. Thermometer. Um, by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these brands either. Just the thermometer that I've got. Pretty colour. Um, I reckon it's always good to have a thermometer in your first aid box um, for anything, even for animals and that, to make sure they don't overheat. If you're worried about temperatures or if you're worried about sickness, um, you can um, take their temperature and um, tell it to your vet, um, especially, yeah, if you ever need you need to monitor something um, or you need to tell your vet for emergencies or anything um, to keep a close eye. Recommend a thermometer. Um, always keep in there. It's clippers. If I can put the clippers back on. Uh, these, this is clippers I use for actual, oh, turn it on, wounds. Um, I'll actually now get that off with one hand. There we go. Um, that's actually clippers I use for wounds. Um, I don't actually clip the horses with this. Um, just sometimes clipping a wound is a little bit easier to treat keeping hair and dirt and that off it. Um, so yeah, they are obviously very pricey. You can get pricey clippers um, in that, but um, I always like to have them on standby just in case I've got a wound. I've got a clip around uh, just to keep hair and dirt out. Um, but if you do get your vet out, your vet should have clippers and they should just be able to clip the sights as well. Uh, you guys probably find this weird or not. I've just got a really old toothbrush with a, like, obviously a fresh head on it and clean the clippers with. Um, it's just, I find it a bit easier to get into all the grooves and the crescents than you get a stand, normally you get a stand and clipper, but it's quite flimsy. So I just use a toothbrush, a little hack, use a toothbrush. Um, and if you've got a electric one, obviously it moves, so it can also get stuff out easy as well. Um, so this will go into my box as well. So I just put my toothbrush um, in there. Okay, so I've organised. I've got my stethoscope. I've got some bandage, cotton wool, creams, bandage stuff on there. Um, under my bandage stuff, I've got on there. I've got my sterile pad. I've got my grooming. Clippers. 
So that's my what I keep in my first aid box. Um, I do also need a bigger box because I'm just fitting everything in now. Thank you so much for watching my um, what's in my first aid tack box. If um, your horse is injured in any other way um, and need medical advice, please um, talk to your vet and go off what your vet has told you. This is just what I have found I've needed. If you do um, like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please follow for more of Strawberry and I's journey um, and how we do it down in Australia. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.